Today, we are interviewing Josh Tarski, who is running in the Democratic primary on September 3rd for the, for the 13th Norfolk seat in the state legislature. This seat is, cur is currently held by Denise Garlick. He is one of four can candidates running in the Democratic primary. The other Democratic candidates are Bjorn Pentel, Patrick Gatto, and Ken <coughs> Rusnick. Welcome, Josh. Thanks for having me, Peter. It's great to see you again. It's good to see you. Yes. Excited for the show? Me too. Good. Why, why are you running for state representative? So I've dedicated my life to public service, uh, both in the military and in education. And I'm hoping to make a difference in the state legislature using some of the experiences that I've had um, to help influence Beacon Hill, make a difference in the communities I hope to represent and across the state. What is your background and how has it prepared you to serve in the state legislature? So I guess my commitment to public service began on September 11th, which if you remember was when the Twin Towers fell. Yep. So I was at my dean's office at Yale, and I became convinced that, uh, you know, I wanted to give something back to the country that had given me so much. I, I was angry. Yes. <clears throat> I was upset about what happened and yep. traumatized. Yeah. I, I felt similar. That was a, a tough time to see that happen on American soil, right? And for me, it, it changed the direction of my life. So after I graduated, I then went to join a special program uh, that allowed civilians with no military experience to try out and become the U.S. Army Special Forces or Green Beret soldiers. Oh, cool. Yeah. Uh, two and a half years after training, I, I made it and then deployed uh, three times with that group. Oh. Twice to Afghanistan and once to Honduras. Wow. And, um, well, thank you for your service. Thanks. Thanks. And when I was overseas, especially on that second tour in Afghanistan, um, you know, one of the jobs or the mission sets of the U.S. Army Special Forces was counterinsurgency, uh, unconventional warfare, trying to win the hearts and minds of the local populace. Um, I was placed in charge of non-lethal effects. That meant that I would try to found schools and help the communities. I tried to build a girls school and a vocational school because I thought that was really important to supporting the local people. Um, I left active duty and I wanted to continue the work in education. So I got into Harvard and got a degree in international education policy but thought that it would be a good idea to help with the American education system. So I became a teacher in Lawrence. Um, and I taught high school English and English as a second language for a lot of years. While there, to supplement my income, I used the GI Bill to help my family I, and stuff I'm, make ends meet. Please, I'm, on, I'm honored to have you here. I, I'm honored that you'll have me here. So this really, it's great seeing you and I love the show. Like I said, I've watched a bunch of episodes. I think you're doing a great job. After what happened on our soil, I, I decided this is what I wanted to do for a, a volunteer opportunity was to have my own show and show people that people with disabilities can do anything that they put their mind to. And I told Brett, from Med who was the Medfield TV boss at the, at the time, I wanted to have my own show, so I went up to him at Medfield State Hospital and I introduced myself and I told him what my dream was to have my own show and I've had it ever since. I think what you're doing is very inspirational. I, the, okay. People with special needs can do anything regular people do. Wonderful. Um, what, what is the number one skill or experience you would bring to the state legislature? So between my work in the military and education, I've worked with people from 
all over the state, all over the country, um, on issues that are often very challenging to reach a, a consensus. I think I'm good at listening, collaborating, and working through difficult issues in a way that's productive. Maybe not coming to a perfect solution, but to a good solution. And I think those experiences with leadership and helping steer institutions is, would, would help provide some experience and know-how if I made it into the legislature. Plus, I'm a lawyer. That, that helps if you're going to write laws. As a state representative, what, what would be the most important issues <coughs> you would work on? So I think housing is a big issue for Needham, Dover, uh, and Medfield. Uh, both the Affordable Homes Act, the MBTA Communities Act, there's proposals for expanding 40B. I think that the climate crisis is something we have to take serious and do um, good, effective policies to make sure that we're handing over this planet and our communities to our children in a way that is sustainable and responsible. And of course, you know, as an educator, I want to make sure that our schools are well resourced, that we have the mental health um, experts at schools to help with some of the issues happening to our students, especially post pandemic. I think as uh, an educator, I can help lead some of those discussions as to what schools could do better and how we can prioritize some of our funding to make sure that it's being spent well. How familiar are you with Medfield and the other towns in the 13th Norfolk District? Uh, I'm getting there. So I walk a lot, um, canvassing, going door to door. And a lot of people in Medfield have been super generous. Um, you know, your father, you, um, I, I've met a bunch of folks that have just extended their hospitality, their homes, sharing their issues with me. Um, even when I walk in Medfield trying to, you know, meet the people I hope to represent, very nice people who have shared a lot with me. And um, I think it's one of the best parts of the political process is actually getting to know the voters and the people in the communities. Um, I still need to learn more, but uh, it's an ongoing process that uh, you know I hope to continue. What What is your experience serving people with disabilities, and how would your experience influence your priorities in the state legislature? So I am an educator. I'm the principal of a six through twelve, which is a middle high school, and I work with people, uh, all students. Um, both general ed and people with moderate and severe disabilities on a daily basis. It's one of my favorite parts of the job, um, going into some of those classrooms and being able to support students um, with whatever their needs are um, and making sure that uh, all students that fall under my watch are well supported so that they can thrive, both in school and when they get out of school. Do, do you have any endorsements? Yes. So Congressman Seth Moulton just endorsed us last week. Um, we also have Democrats for Education Reform, uh, Vote Vets, and New Politics. So education and military endorsements are uh, the main ones that I'm getting. What are your favorite activities outside of work? I like hanging out with my family. I like taking walks in nature. The Needham Forest is right near where we live, so we go in there a lot. Um, those are probably the two, like eating, um, which with all the walking I'm doing, it's, that's, it's been okay. And uh, just hanging out with people, talking, trying to have a good time, and, you know, talk about things that matter. It's been an honor again to know you. You too. Can you summarize why you should be elected as state representative? So I've led soldiers, I've led classrooms, um, and I've led schools. And I think some of those experiences have shaped me uh, and prepared me for this position to collaborate with people of all different backgrounds on difficult issues, to come to solutions that can affect not just the people of Needham, Dover, and Medfield, but the entire state. 
And uh, if I was given the opportunity to do that, I would take the job very serious. I would be available just like I am as a, a school principal or an attorney with uh, the Judge Advocate General, uh, meeting with soldiers or students or families to talk about issues of concern, uh, to try and make a difference in their lives. I take public service very seriously and consider this attempt to get into the State House as an extension of a lifetime of public service uh, that I'd be honored to continue. I'd be honored to have you as my state rep. Thank you so much. And I would definitely why why have you as my state rep because Denise was my state rep for a for a long long time. And I had the honor of getting to know her for 38 years. Yep. And she was a wonderful person and a great person and I miss her when she retires, but I wish her best of luck with everything. Me too. And if I get elected, I would come on for a, another show or two. We wish to, to thank Josh for appearing on this episode of Special Times and congratulate him for seeking to serve as state representative. And we wish him the best of luck in, in his campaign. Remember to vote in the primary on September 3rd. Stay, stay tuned for future episodes of Special Times where we'll interview each of the candidates for the 13th Norfolk State Representative seat. Goodbye.